Hello, Rick here again with Oasis. Today I'd like to feature our Lazy Susan bench. This is a very small, compact unit with an awful lot of storage if you don't have a real large tying area uh, that you've got set up in your house. Um, it's on a metal ball bearing Lazy Susan, so it spins very easily with just a touch of a fingertip. And it's got bottle storage in the bottom. You've got th uh, brass rods here for your threads, and then a tool storage area up on top. Comes with a magnet uh, strip on one side for small flies and a um, rippled foam piece on the other end for larger flies. When you get the uh, Lazy Susan, it comes in basically three components. There's the bottom part, which is your, your main part. You can see the Lazy Susan there in the middle. The ball bearing Lazy Susan uh, it spins very freely. Uh, that's already connected when you receive it. It comes with um, this rod here, this half inch oak dowel that slides down into the hole. There's a screw a hole underneath for you to put a screw in to pin that in place. And then this tool part goes on top and there's a hole here in the center for your screw. Uh, and all that hardware is found here in this packet. It's got your two screws. It's got your uh, brass rods for the thread storage. You want to tap those in before you put on the top. And then it's got the hackle plier hanger that goes in this eighth inch hole here on the end. So it's very easy to assemble and put together in just a, just a few minutes. So once you get it done, um, I'll just load one up here for you to show you all the storage capacity of this little bench. We've got large holes here. These are uh, inch and three quarter inch holes, and these are inch and uh, one half inch, one and one half inch holes. So the inch and three quarters are for larger items like this head cement bottle or these um, these hooks here. The medium size inch and a half holes are for more medium type glue bottles. Um, over here on this end, the um, medium size holes also work well for hair stackers. Um, another uh, head cement glue bottle. Here's another um, different kind of uh, um, coating cement uh, we could put in this uh, dubbing loop tool right here on the end. Uh, here we have smaller holes. These are these are one inch holes. Two of them are, are fairly deep and one is shallow. So like this um, dubbing wax here, there's a deep hole. Here's a shallow hole. Um, you can put those there. Also these holes work well for um, here's some Renzetti hair stackers. Put those in there. Then on this side, we could put in um, maybe a bottle of goop, a tube of goop. Um, and then you've got your threads. Uh, so it'll hold these 12 brass rods. will hold 24 spools. Put a thread, wire, tinsel, anything that comes on a spool. So this will hold 24 different spooled materials on these um, 12 brass rods. Then when it comes time to loading up the top unit, let me grab this one again to show you. I have um, lar one, uh, three eighths inch holes down here for larger handled tools that go all the way through. Here around the center hole are um, quarter inch holes designed for bobbins or smaller handle tools. The hole here in the center is for your screw that attaches it to the oak dowel. And then these holes here are one quarter inch holes. Um, those all have tapered entrances so it helps finding the hole when you go to put the tool away. There are four holes here that are not tapered. These two here and these two on this side. They do have an eighth inch hole in the bottom so if you go put it if you want to put it like a bodkin in there the needle will fall through but the handle will stay up above. Uh, but there are other tools I'll show here in a minute that um, it's better if you don't have a hole in the bottom for the tool to fall through. So we'll start loading that up. So here I have um, eight holes in the middle that work really well for bobbins for your thread storage. We have our smaller quarter inch holes here that work excellent for scissors. Uh, even these very small scissors, they don't drop all the way through so you don't have them pointing way down into your threads. But every once in a while you might have a pair of scissors that are very skinny. They might drop through to the bottom. You also, um, you might have a, here's a whip finisher. You don't want it to drop all the way through. Um, and then these four holes I was telling you about, they're quarter inch holes that don't drop all the way through. Here I have a comb, a large comb. I have a small comb on this end. 
Over here I could put, uh, here's a dubbing loop tool. Here's another um, hackle plier type tool, a rotary hackle plier. And then in these larger holes, we're going to put um, oh, larger tools. You, don't, you want something bigger to go down in. Here's, um, if you put a real skinny handled tool in one of these, it's going to drop all the way down. So it's best to put these kind of tools in holes that don't have bottoms like that. Okay? If you put this in here, well, that would hold and drop down a little ways. Uh, we also have um, uh, ha hackle plier hangers here on the end. I find that hackle pliers typically don't fit into holes real well. There's not much to put in the hole, but they hang really nice. So all my benches come with a hackle plier hanger that we make. Um, they also <clears throat> have a rippled foam on one end for um, storing larger flies. Once you're done tying the fly, just hook that on. We got a couple. Here's a nice steelhead fly, a nice bass fly here. Uh, and then on the other end, we have a, a magnetic sheet that will work well if you have like a, mag, a, a razor blade, if you're doing uh, deer hair work, spinning deer hair, or if you're tying little tiny flies, they'll stick just fine on the magnet. You can oh, let me get the, the hook on the magnet there. So um, you can store little flies until you can get them into your fly tying box. So that shows you the, um, the flies on the end. I've got larger flies here on this end. And uh, it's just a great little bench um, within a very compact area. Holds a lot of stuff. Once again, we call this our Lazy Susan. Thank you very much.